Hello everyone, welcome to Mechanical Software Education channel. In this video you are going to learn about the linear buckling analysis of a slender column by using ANSYS. Look at this drawing. When a member carrying mainly an axial load is vertical, it is termed as column. Actually in this drawing you can see the column should be placed here of uh, 1000 millimeter. So here one end is fixed and the other end uh, having an axial load uh, in vertical. Okay, here uh, the load which is given as 1 Newton, uh, normally this 1 Newton uh, should be uh, taken as a dummy load and uh, you know, normally while you are applying load in the top, the entire uh, long column or the slender column should get buckled. Okay, now uh, uh, normally the failure should be uh, happens or uh, the entire column should get failed uh, due to buckling. Okay, the cross section for this uh, cylinder column is C type cross section and the dimensions shown here that is W1, W2 and W3 and W1 and W2 stands for uh, uh, width in uh, lowest region and uh, topmost region and the uh, entire height of this cross section is W3 and the thickness of all the flanges should be uh, uh, given as equal uh, thickness that is 5 mm, 5 mm and 5 mm. Okay, So here the extra uh, input we are going to give in ANSYS as Young's modulus E or uh, 2 E uh, 5 Newton per mm square and uh, Poisson's ratio is 0 0.27. Okay, So with the help of uh, these uh, data we can draw this slender column by using ANSYS. Let me move on to ANSYS. So now start with the preferences. We can start with the structural, give OK and uh, start with the preprocessor, add your element. Uh, here I just chose a beam 3 node 189. It is in a quadratic uh, form. So uh, go to material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic and here you, you need to give uh, the value of Young's modulus uh, 2E5 and uh, the Poisson's ratio is 0 0.27. So give OK here and close. Now check your Poisson's ratio value. It is 0 0.27. Yes. So now uh, we need to go for uh, section. Go to beam common section we can uh, go for uh, C type here it is C type so here now uh, you can check W1 W2 W3 W1 uh, stands for your uh, lowest uh, region width so the dimension is 30 30 50 and all the thickness is given as 5 so now 30 for the lowest uh, width and the highest width top layer of uh, width and the W3 stands for the total height of uh, uh, this uh, cross section and uh, here the thickness is given as commonly as 5. So go to preview you can check your uh, uh, C-type uh, cross section of this slender column. Give OK. Now uh, go to modeling uh, create your model so start with the key points in active coordinate system start with the uh, uh, origin so first key point should be in origin the second key point uh, we need to uh, give our value in uh, y direction so it should be of a uh, vertical uh, uh, vertical beam it should be of column so use thousand in uh, y direction okay now give okay so we already created first key point and second key point just join with the help of line straight lines first point second key point and uh, we created line and now we just go for meshing size controls manual size uh, yeah, sorry uh, lines all lines you can divide the entire line as 100 equal divisions okay so here the line is divided into 100 equal uh, divisions that is element division and now go for mesh uh, go to line so pick all your entire line was meshed okay now we just go for solution uh, here uh, we just check the analysis type the starting analysis should be static one okay so here uh, first of all you just go for uh, 
uh, solution and control here just uh, uh, check this uh, calculate pre-stress effects you can uh, give a tick mark for this to check your uh, pre-stress effects while uh, calculating all this thing all this uh, uh, values so just go for define loads apply structural uh, displacement on key points you can fix the base and it is a fixed uh, support so give all decrease of freedom and the entire key point was getting arrested and now go to forcer movement uh, key points you can uh, fix the top uh, key point and uh, give the dummy load as minus one okay it is in a downward direction that's why we are giving in terms of negative so now just to solve this problem go to current uh, load step give ok and uh, uh, actually uh, this drawing or this uh, column uh, we just used uh, static uh, so solution we just used the static uh, solution for solving this problem and now you can check your results uh, plot results deform shape you can check uh, there should not be any deformation happens here you can go for uh, style you can on this display of element and now you can check the surface actually uh, you can check here uh, I just uh, choose this front view uh, this blue color indicates that it is a normal uh, thousand uh, mm height that is for a slender column and this is the uh, uh, a deflection or this is a deflection region by giving this one Newton uh, now we just go for checking our results uh, with the uh, plot results counter plot nodal solution and in uh, degrees of freedom all vector sum you can check this result for uh, the static load actually it is not a, a buckling effect if you go for uh, finding a linear buckling effect means we just uh, switch over uh, the analysis part from static to uh, eigenvalue problem okay so normally we already know uh, while finding the critical load uh, while calculating this uh, 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 buckling effects we just use Euler's formula we already know the Euler's formula there is a PCR which is equal to n square pi square ei divided by l square so normally this critical load is stands only in the longitudinal compression load on every columns okay so now we just go for checking your analysis type we just go for a new analysis and just change from static to eigen buckling okay so here this uh, this is uh, just an uh, uh, eigen value problem so we are just use this uh, eigen uh, buckling term to uh, your analysis type just give okay and now uh, just check your analysis type uh, in this part you can uh, uh, you just see this uh, mode extraction method as block lankos actually this block lankos is just uh, I, uh, mm, it is it is a vast area to find this solution and uh, normally it is an uh, extraction method uh, to extract uh, the number of eigenvalues for uh, giving a number of uh, 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 modes we are if we are giving number of modes as 2 or even 5 the results should be extracted within 2 node or 2 modes or even if you go for uh, 10 number of uh, mode extraction means the uh, mode which starts from 1 to 10 so the results just uh, shared from 1 to 10 so here in this problem we are going to give uh, the number of uh, modes to extract as 3 and uh, uh, give ok here so normally this block link course uh, it is nothing but a uh, eigenvalue extraction method uh, normally it is uh, uh, available for a large symmetric uh, eigenvalue problems normally it is just to extract uh, the eigenvalues okay so here uh, with the help of this uh, analysis options next to go for uh, load step options and uh, output controls you can uh, check this solution printouts uh, here you can go for every substep here every step uh, substeps so here we just give the same mode number as 3 here 
here in this part you can see this basic quantities actually uh, this basic quantities is nothing but the uh, it just ex extract the results from uh, all degrees of freedom uh, nodal reaction loads and also the element solution so all these things happens in this uh, basic quantities so you choose the basic quantities here and now give ok here with the help of these uh, parameters you can uh, go for solve your uh, problem okay so now check your results go to general post processor and uh, now uh, read results first step you can check for plot results a uh, deformation shape you can uh, check here there should not be any deviation fro for here then uh, read your next step and uh, now plot results and uh, check your deform shape there should not be any expansion so now we just go for solution and now analysis type the same uh, uh, icon buckling uh, type should be selected here and now we are going to give the expansion pass so you just on this expansion pass and give ok uh, here in this load step option you have uh, expansion passes here so go to expansion pass single expand and expand uh, expand modes we just give number is 3 because the number of modes we uh, gave in the previous steps as 3 uh, set of uh, uh, modes and now uh, here just on this uh, element results if you want to calculate this element results just check this on button and give ok and now you can solve one more time and now you can check your results with the help of a general post processor uh, read results this is the first step uh, deform shape now you can check the first mode step uh, for this slender column okay now uh, go to this uh, read results go for a uh, next uh, set and plot results a uh, deform shape again uh, the second step you can check the uh, second uh, sub step here and we already uh, gave uh, three number of modes so we completed uh, two sets of uh, data here now you go to read results now go to next step it is comes under a third sub step to find the uh, deformation shape okay so this is the exact uh, uh, column uh, slender column uh, buckling you can check if you want to get uh, uh, better results you can go for uh, uh, four modes or even ten modes you can uh, check with the help of uh, the block uh, land cost uh, values variation between uh, uh, 0 to sorry 1 to uh, 10 or even 1 to 50 that is your choice okay now you can go for uh, this is the last uh, this is the last uh, substrap this is a third substrap if you want to get uh, results for uh, counter plot nodal solution the entire uh, displacement vector sum if you want to get results you can check uh, now after getting this one uh, this is the result for uh, the third substrap okay so now go to nodal solution if you want to uh, get results for uh, stress in x direction alone you can get it through x direction value so if you want to get the value for one measure stress you can uh, get it through this stress from nodal solution okay so now uh, if you want to animate this results uh, based on the substrap uh, go to the deformed uh, results go to stress even it should be of uh, one vicious stress you can check the column buckling okay, normally uh, you must understand that uh, the slender column should get buckle easily okay so the best example for this column is nothing but uh, the steel rule uh, we are using in uh, in our day-to-day uh, -day life the steel rule if you are applying the load on the top the entire scale or the steel rule uh, should get buckle if the uh, height is increased uh, or the length of the column or the scale is just increased uh, the material should get buckle if the uh, height is re reduced the entire material should get failed uh, due to compression okay so this is a simple thing for uh, uh, linear analysis of uh, slender column okay okay if you want to take uh, a printouts uh, again you can uh, go for uh, the style colors and you must reverse your video from uh, black to white okay so now go to plot controls 
you can capture your image and save your files in bitmap file okay so now uh, thank you very much guys uh, uh, hope you can understand all these things regarding this buckling load uh, if you really enjoyed and gained knowledge through this video you can uh, press like and comment uh, and uh, subscribe my channel and just support me thank you very much thank you